this is Melanie from over at I Heart Stitching and today I'm going to show you how to make this envelope pillowcase cover. Um, this is using the Shannon Fabrics Chinchilla and Soft Pink, really great cuddle fabric and it's an envelope enclosure so it's easy to wash. This is a really great beginner friendly project so I'm going to show you all the steps, everything that you need to know in order to make this really fun pillowcase so let's get going. Okay, I'm going to be using a 16 by 16 pillow, and here's that gorgeous Shannon Fabrics Chinchilla in the baby pink. So what you want to do is fold your fabric in half, and um, so it's easier to cut. And for the 16 by 16, I'm going to be cutting a 17 by 17 inch square and then some smaller pieces. So um, you want to find where that 17 inch mark is, and then go ahead and cut along the line with your rotary blade and your ruler my favorite sewing tool uh, with the working with cuddle is that little hand back. So make sure you're cutting, get it nice and straight. Here's those smaller pieces. You're going to want a 17 by 13 and a 17 by 11. All the measurements will be down below. And then I went ahead and used my serger, but you can use a dense zigzag to finish off that one edge and then fold it over one half of an inch and pin into place. You want to pin well. The minky cuddle fabric can uh, shift a little bit on the machine. So you want, you want to go over to your sewing machine and stitch right behind that zigzag stitch or that surged edge um, with a straight stitch and a walking foot if you have one. Um, I didn't even change my needle out. Regular needle did fine, but you can use a ballpoint or a stretch if you'd like. Then you want to take your 17 by 17 um, square with the right side facing up and then your two smaller pieces with their finished edges um, facing down and then you want to pin all of the way around making sure to match up those edges really well. Pinning is really important when using the cuddle fabric because it can shift a little bit at the machine. Over at the machine I used uh, my 5 8 inch mark on my machine. I, I sewed a hair underneath that so it ends up being about a half inch seam allowance. Remove your pins as you go with a straight stitch um, and just make sure you feed that fabric well underneath, even if you're using a walking foot, sometimes it still needs a little bit of help. When you get to the corner, before you pivot, you want to make sure that your seam allowance is correct. So right here I need another little stitch in order to get it to that correct half inch on this one side. So go ahead and remove your pins and stitch all the way around your entire envelope. Um, pillow cover. Now when you match up your ends make sure to back stitch very well to secure that stitch all the way around. Now I'm going to head over to my serger and serge these edges so that they have a nice finished edge and easy for washing. I'm going to use the foot on my serger to line it up with that uh, straight stitch and then that way it's nice and even all the way around. If you don't have a serger that's fine you just want to zigzag your edge really well and then here you want to clip your corners it doesn't fray too badly as I'll show you um, so that your corners will pop out nice and well be a nice finished look. Okay guys that's it. I hope you liked this video and that you had fun making your pillowcase. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.